Good morning everyone. Welcome to PUC Online Classroom. Today I am going to continue our unit, but we're going to start the new book, which is in the chain 3, 4th edition. Alright, so in, in this book we're going to cover only the first four units. Okay, so let me begin with the first unit. So this is about the short warm-up and also acknowledgments from the book and some activities right here so I'm not going to focus on that so here we are that is the first unit that's what friends are for this is the first unit of this book okay and if you take a look at the title right here we probably can say that the meaning is how important you know your friend is so when you have friends Probably it is better because he or she can help us whenever we have problems or whenever we don't understand any grammar points or any lessons. So your friends can help. All right, that is the meaning. The meaning of that's what friends are for. Okay, but the first activity that I'm going to focus on is snapshot, which is not about friends, but it's about love and marriage. Okay, in North America, but not in our country. Okay, so I would like to begin with this side. We have two sides, women and men right here. So let's begin with what men, a woman, I'm sorry, look for in a partner. So it's about a person, okay, that women in North America love to get married or want to be with. First, he has to have a love, okay. Sure, you have to love her if you want to get married with women in a uh, any woman in North America <clears throat> and number two understanding that is very important okay and you gotta talk okay you gotta talk you need to have a conversation and number four of course you have to spend time together with her okay number five you gotta have a positive attitude you, you gotta have positive personality for example okay a manner because a woman in North America probably look, looks for someone like this. And of course, you have to be a good listener. Do not just talk. You have to listen to her more. Okay. And number seven is affection. It's about a feeling of love so that you have to show your affection to her. Okay. And you need to have some kind of responsibility at home. I don't know exactly what kind of responsibility right here. Maybe cleaning up the house or doing dishes or doing the laundry things like that okay it depends okay and it can be something like money okay you have to take responsibility of you know supporting the whole family things like that okay uh, or it could be you know paying bill or the electricity things like this and you gotta have free time for her, otherwise you cannot get married, okay? With the woman in North America, as you can see right here. And number 10, you have to be healthy, okay? So this is, these are the things, all right, the qualities that you need to have in order to get married with someone, let's say a woman in North America. And this side, we're going to talk about men, all right? So what men look for in a partner so the first one is belief in his capabilities so which is about ability so she needs to believe in him all right and number two understanding the same thing compliments you need to say something good to him all right whenever he does something nice then you should say great things like this all right so he needs compliments okay acceptance direct conversation yeah you you gotta talk directly girls or ladies if you want to get married with a man in North America you need to talk uh, or you can have a direct conversation you can talk to him directly okay and of course showing the affection the same thing respect free time spend time together yeah trust I think it's most important thing is this one trust you have to trust each other okay and companionship is like being uh, together 
uh, as a couple okay so what about all of you what kind of men you want to get married and what kind of woman you want to get married okay you probably can list down some kind of qualities uh, for yourself what kind of person you want to be with forever okay so that you can just write down and you can look for someone who has similar uh, qualities that you you know have or maybe you can list something down it, it doesn't have to be the perfect one it, it can be you know 70 or 80 percent yeah more likely okay all right so I'm not going to spend time more with this so let's go on to number two conversation I like guys who so in this activity you're going to listen to uh, Chris and Kim for the first part once you finish this conversation then you can go to part B in order to listen to Chris and Kim so they discuss Bob after they met for coffee and how did Kim like him okay you have to listen and find out the answers and uh, the, uh, the audio will be attached so that you can download and listen all right for the answers okay all right so let me move to next activity which is about grammar point relative pronouns so I think we already have learned uh, relative pronouns uh, if I'm not mistaken it should be unit uh, certain the interchange uh, two not three Okay, so in the change two at a time. So let me uh, bring you back, okay, uh, to that to that lesson so that you probably can remember that. Um, so let me go to this part. As you can see right here, last time we learned relative pronouns for people and things, and right here we use who or that for people and which or that for things. But in this case, we mainly focus on subject only. Okay. The subject for people, the subject for something, all right, uh, for things. And um, when it is a person, then you use who or that. Whenever it is something, you can use which or that, okay. If you take a look at the lesson today, a subject of a class, okay, as an object of class, okay. So, we focus on subject this is what we learn but this is another point that is new which is an object but I think I already have explained the difference and also both of them as well okay so let me bring you back to the handout as well so this is about relative clause or adjective clause last time we already learned and um, yes as you can see right here we have relative pronoun as subject and relative pronoun as an object this is what is the new item okay the new point that we're going to focus on okay but I will go back to the subject a little bit so that you can understand much better okay so right here we have three relative pronouns who for people which for things that for both of them okay but usually that it is considered to be informal okay so let's begin with subject a little bit okay a relative pronoun can be the subject of the adjective clause or you can say relative clause as you can see this example I'm looking at a woman and she's standing over there and then you can say she right here refers to the woman but she is a subject that is the reason we can change she by using who or that okay so the answer is I'm looking at a woman who or that is standing over there okay similar to the second example but this is about something or think I like a job it is interesting and well paid okay so it here refers to a job and it is replaced did by um, which or that okay so that you can have the answer I like a job which or that is interesting and well paid and the boy is intelligent he works really hard so the boy who or that works really hard is intelligent as I explained you last time relative clause Okay, need to be after the noun it modifies. Okay, so the boy is the noun that we modify so that we have to put it after that. Okay, so hopefully you can remember or understand this one. Okay, as you can see the woman right at the back, so that's why we have to keep after the woman because we modify the woman. Okay, a job right here, we modify a job so that we have to keep after a job. Similar to homework right here, homework is 
replace it by it right here as a second class then you can use it to modify the homework so we can say the homework which was given yesterday is interesting okay all right so next the new grammar point right here is about relative pronoun as an object okay as you can see object can be person object can be uh, something or things okay similar to relative pronoun as a subject subject can be a person subject can be uh, something okay an object is also the same thing can be person can be something or how uh, uh, the item or th animals things like this okay right so we're going to stick to the same rule we have to put it next to the noun we modify okay as you can see right here that's the teacher we are interested in him so we cannot say we refers to the teacher but we say him refers to the teacher then you have to replace him using relative pronouns who which or that but be because this one is a person then you have to use who or that right here okay so that's why we have the answer that's the teacher who or that were we are interested in but we don't have him anymore everybody because him right here is replaced it is replaced by uh, who or that okay and we don't use him anymore and this is the house they bought it last year so they cannot refer to the house but it refers to the house so that we can replace it using which or that okay so that is the house which or that they bought last year so you see that it is an object all right but it refers to something and let's move on to the next example the car is luxurious or owns own it okay owns it i'm sorry so it here refers to the car then you have to move the whole clause to modify the car because According to the rule, we need to put it after the noun we modify. So the car is the noun we modify. Then we have to put it after that. Okay, so that is the reason we have the car, which her unowns is luxurious. But right here, you can use that as well. But it considered to be uh, informal. Both of them, of course, is informal. Okay, and another example right here: the students are working very hard. We really like the way they are doing. Okay, so. Uh, the way they are doing is something wrong with this one okay we don't need to focus on that okay uh, I need to fix the sentence right here so let's go back to our lesson right here as you can see these two examples I like guys who are that are not too serious I like guys who are that have a good sense of humor okay so this is what we have learned but this is what we haven't learned but I already explained in the handout so I prefer someone who or that I have fun with actually I have fun with him or her right here at the end but when we replace him or her right here with who or that we don't have an him and or her anymore right here okay because him or her right here refers to someone right here that is the reason we have to put it after the noun we modify okay uh, similar to the second example I prefer someone who or that I can talk to easily Maybe you can you can you don't see any him or her right here, but talk to him or her easily. So him or her right here refers to someone. Then you can replace him or her right here using who or that. Okay. So uh, if you have any questions, so that you can ask me in a comment below. All right. So your job is to do exercise A right here, just to match. It, it is okay. All right. Uh, the first column to the second column. Okay. Once you finish this, you can go to this activity or exercise number four: word power personalities. So you gotta match uh, the words, the words right here, with uh, the definitions. Okay. But matching is not enough. So you have to write down P for positive and for negative. All right. Uh, after this adjective. Okay. Uh, because some are negative some are positive so once you finish matching then you also can um, you know write down for P for positive and for negative of each adjective as well okay all right I think that's it everybody if you have any question especially about relative pronouns right here so that you can ask me in a comment below all right that's it for today everybody thank you goodbye